Eukaryotic cells have highly organized structures, including membrane-bound organelles. Plants and animals share, share many of the same types of organelles, but both of us have also organelles that are unique to their needs. So let's go ahead and learn about animal cells first. Okay? Animal cell. Now as you guys can see, it has nucleus in it. Now nucleus is a dense region in the nucleus where ribosomes are assembled. Okay, now let's look at endoplasmic reticulum, ER, rough ER and smooth ER, an interconnected network of thin folded membrane that produces, processes and distributes protein. ER that is studded with ribosomes are called rough ER. ER without ribosomes are called smooth ER. Smooth ER is useful to digest drugs and alcohol and it's used in liver now let's move on to vacuum now vacuum an organelle that is used to store materials such as water food or enzyme that are needed by the cell now Golgi apparatus a stack of flat membrane and closed spacing containing enzyme that processes, sorts, and delivers protein. Now, mitochondria, a bean-shaped organelle that supplies energy to the cell that has its own ribosomes and DNA. Ribosomes, an organelle that contains enzyme, they also help to recycle the waste that is created by the cells. Vesicle, a small organelle that contains material, keeping them separate from the rest of the cytoplasm and transport material within the cell, are known as vesicle. Now, since we are done with animal cell, let's go ahead and do the plant cell. Okay? Let's move on to plant cell. Now, plant cell also has a nucleus in it like we already talked about. Now, new thing is central vacuole, a single la large fluid sac that all usually takes up most of the space inside a cell, plant cell. It strengthens the cell and helps support the whole plant. The mitochondria is what we talked about. It supplies energy. And the new thing is chloroplast. Chloroplast, as we all know, Gives uh, provides energy to the whole plant. Now, what is chloroplast? An organelle composed of numerous membranes that are used to convert solar energy into chemical energy contains chlorophyll, like we already so said. Now, chloroplast help us in the process of photosynthesis. Now, uh, other organelles are the same. Now, the new thing once is that a cell wall. Animal Animal uh, cell does not contain cell wall. Plant cell does. Now, cell wall is a rigid structure that gives protection, support, and shape to the cell, plant, plants, algae, fungi, and bacteria. Photosynthesis is the process that make that captures energy from sunlight to make sugar that store chemical energy. Photosynthesis uses sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make six carbon simple sugar. Oxygen is released as a waste product. In many photosynthetic organisms, photosynthesis takes place in chloroplasts. Now let's go ahead and take a look at chloroplasts. So click. Now chloroplasts helps us in photosynthet photosynthetic methods. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look on that. Now, Now photosynthesis is the process. Okay, the first stage is the light in light in dependent reaction. Energy is absorbed from sunlight. Water molecules are broken down, and oxygen is released. Okay, so as you guys can see on the diagram over here, this is the cyclot membrane over here. Now hydrogen is passed by the cyclot membrane. Now energy is absorbed from sunlight, NADPH is produced when electrons are added to NADP+. Okay. Now hydrogen ions are diffused through the protein channel, ADP is changed 
or is converted into ATP when hydrogen ions flow through ATP synthesis. So this is the chloroplast, as you guys can see. It goes into triglot, ATP, and NDP. Let's add it. Okay. Second stage that we are about to see. What I'm seeing right now is this Calvin cycle. Molecules enter the cycle and are added to five carbon molecules. Six carbon molecules are formed later. So, as you guys can see, it's split in half and a DPH is added, which is the energy that we just talked about in previous sections. So, here it is. Now, energy is added, as you said. Okay, high energy, three carbon molecules exit from each three carbon molecules, then enter. Five carbon molecules are from, reformed by energy from ATP. Split in half and then it goes away. You guys can see ATP is added again to that and it reforms it, joins it again, makes it the whole three component. After the component is made, these molecules are basically transferred to chloroplast as you guys can see. Now it's in the chloroplast. Now it's it's revolving around the stoma and what stoma is producing is the sugar molecule as you guys can see. is after the process is done, sugar molecule is processed, and this is the structure of plant cell. Cellular respiration releases chemical energy from sugars and other carbon-based molecules to make ATP molecules. Cellular respiration is an aerobic process, which means that it needs oxygen to take place. The aerobic part of cellular respiration takes place in mitochondria. So let's go ahead and click on mitochondria. Here we click on mitochondria and glycolysis provides the product cellular respiration to uses to make ATP molecules as you guys can see. Now the process of glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm and does not require oxygen. Glycolysis splits glucose into two, three carbon molecules, pyruvate and provides a net gain of two molecules of ATP. Okay, now the first stage of cellular respiration in mitochondria is the Krebs cycle. Prichloride molecules from glycolysis enter the matrix of mitochondria. Each prichloride molecule is broken down into and two carbon dioxide molecules is released. An energy carrying molecule, NADPH, is made for later on use and carbon dioxide is released as a waste. Coenzymes A bonds to two carbon molecules, the Two carbon molecules portion of in intermediate molecule is added to four carbon molecules. The six carbon molecules called citric acid is formed. Coenzyme A is released. Citric acid is broken down. NADH is made for later use and carbon monoxide is released as a waste. The five carbon molecules is broken down. NADH and ATP are made for later use and carbon dioxide is released as waste. So you guys can see. Now the four carbon molecules is rearranged and a DH and a FADH2, another energy carrying molecule, are made for later use. The cycle then continues as producing energy carrying molecules and carbon dioxide as waste. The four carbon molecules is rearranged again. As you guys can see, it's rearranged and it's broken down. As I said, and a DH and FADH2 is which is another energy mod. The elect okay, so what's happening here is the electron transport chain is the second cha stage of se cellular respiration in the mitochondria. Electrons are removed from NADH and FADH2 and enters the protein chain. So hydrogen ions are transported are across the inner membrane. Then what's happening is the hydrogen ions diffuse through the ch protein channel ADP is changed into AD ATP when hydrogen ions is flowed through the ATP synthesis as you guys can see. Water is formed as 
when oxygen picks up electron and hydrogen ions, the water is released as waste. This process is called cellular respiration.